One of the most important things you need to know about making these watches is that I have used one of them, I sacrificed one of them to create this glass lens that you see on there. Um, to create that I had to cut one of these in half. You can see it kind of acts as a contact lens over that and then we're going to cut it to size. So you need to sacrifice one of these, as you can see there's a seam down the center, you're going to be cutting this in half to deal with two. So you sacrifice one and you have two. If you sacrifice one, you'll have two. How many pocket watches will you have? Out of this group, we're going to have four. A little bit of something about the pocket watches here. The top part is the squeezy part. We've got to take this out. And I'm very, very carefully just popping it out. Just It pulls out very nicely. And there it is. You can always save this for another project. However, I'm using a pair of bonsai shears that cut quite nicely through other things. I'm hoping that does this. Yes, it will. I'm going very, very carefully down the seam of our squeaky toy. Look at that. So now we have two lenses. I'm going to do another one here. Oh, see we got a little squeak in there. Oh, we got two little squeaks. It it knows it knows it's being sacrificed. Just do your best because you will be making it smaller. There. Now, once you've got four lenses that you have, now you can put them on top of it. There's one, there's two, there's three and there's the fourth one four so I guess now we're gonna have five total watches to make up your antique gold you're going to need one part silver and a little bit of yellow ochre I'm using a 607 here and I'm using it full strength and then I've got myself a great brush here I'm gonna be like working the two into each other here very very carefully you're gonna see a, you're gonna see an antique gold start forming right there boom um, as much as it is so I've got a little dop of yellow ochre 607 here and we can make quite a bit of this antique gold once we get this gold mixed up you can see how I'm working it side to side making sure it's fully blended we don't want any silver too much silver if, it, if it's not enough just work it in there bring it into a thing and now we've got the color so what we want to do now is we want to start painting our watches so you may need one or two coats. I finished them. They are all dried. They're on these pencils that I had used. I just put a pencil in there to use it as a painting uh, holder device and they came out really awesome. So now we can move on to building the little uh, part that you wind the watch with. The next awesome part you're going to be needing a little bit of air dry clay, any color will do. And I'm using here a plastic spatula, and the reason is that there's an edge on it, and I can use that for shaping. What you want to do is you want to put the air dry clay into the opening of your watch and then push it down like that and just shape it enough to create the part that's going to become the winder. Now if you have too much on there like I do you can very very easily just trim 
any excess and then reshape basically I think I've got it down really well there that's the right size oh that's kind of a cool shape look at that uh, that was just you know you use it, <laughs> things are just happy accidents I tell you sometimes you're making something and boom well happy happy accidents I like that I like the the hexagon shape at the top so right now I'm going to just shape this up exactly as I want it again put it back on once you get this in the right circular shape that's going to look like a winder we're going to add some ridges okay I think that looks really good no, that does look good. Okay, good. Now, once you get that in place, you're going to use the edge. You're going to create ridges now. All the way around. Now, while the clay is still malleable, we're going to put one more essential thing in here, which is the holding clip. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Next part I need to show you is these little guys. They're called eyelets, and you can get them at any hardware store or crafting store. And they've got the, the screw top part on here, and we are just going to very gently put that right into our clay and we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours looks like a watch huh and there they are it's been 24 hours they're completely dry and now we're going to paint the top part where it is yellow and I'm going to give them a second coat of the antique gold let's do that now now comes the awesome part as you can actually see they look like they're completed here they came out beautiful I painted all of the yellow clay at the top and even the eyelid. So now let's go on to the next part. Now comes the time we've all been waiting for, the assemblage part. So to actually make the uh, pocket watch you're going to need some of these images. Basically you can go on any type of website like Pixabay and they've got 2.2 million pictures on there and I have just cut this down to size so it fits very very beautifully on our uh, pocket watch like this and we're going to be putting our lens over that to size we're going to be gluing that all together with a clear dry white glue you can also use another type of glue over here which is absolutely non-colored but as you like it so right now uh, let's assemble this and then we're going to be doing the antiquing last let's do it going into the final stretch of making our watches now when the paper has dried and the glue has dried, you're going to take one of the lenses and you're going to place the lens over your pocket watch. And you're going to take a marker. And what I've got here uh, is a kind of a semi-permanent marker. It is a touch marker uh, used for illustration. But we're just going to map out the circle lens like this. of the paper okay and then we're going to cut that out now I also have here a uh, piece of tissue that was soaked in rubbing alcohol so I can take off this marker from our lens when we're done once we get this cut out we're going to put that with a bit of a glue over there and we're going to let that dry and for the final piece, you're going to need a soft brush. I'm going to be using today an acrylic 999 black, a little bit of water, and we're going to create a slurry for our watches. And we're just going to just bring this down to maybe like one part water and maybe one part black, maybe even less than that, maybe two parts water, one part black. And we're going to antique our watches. Going to bring out the antique in here we're going to bring out the texture in our product so once you get all these painted up let them dry and we'll see what the final product looks like make sure when I show you the technique about the the top part get that color right in those little divots 
don't be afraid to do them you can always add a chain a gold chain to your product if you want to hang these on your Christmas tree looking good already and there they are the staining the corrosion the patina that we added to them everything about them makes them look like they're antique men's Victorian pocket watches gothically yours Professor M